RoboTotal starts with a um, known starting point, and so it makes preoperative templating uh, relatively straightforward. Um, the known spot is zero degrees of varus with an external rotation at zero degrees. Your tibia should be at zero degrees of varus with a posterior slope of zero. The external rotation of the tibia can be um, user preference. Then additionally, the um, position around the medial condyle is 8.5 off the uh, distal aspect of the medial femoral condyle, 8.5 millimeters off the posterior aspect of the medial femoral condyle. Again, these are with cartilage map turned off, and 3 millimeters off of the medial aspect of the tibia. The final step for your preoperative uh, planning is to set your trochlear, trochlear uh, flexion. What you, we do is we anchor here at the tip of the medial peg, and then we scroll through to the trochlea until we find a fit that we like. That's a known starting point for RoboTotal. Every case starts there, and by starting there and inputting our uh, gap values, RoboTotal can then run all the possible combinations of implant positions and help you pick the best one. So then we go here, this is a left uh, fi final um, check on the implant planning screen is to click the information button and all of these should read 8.5, 8.53. So we're working on a left knee here so we click left knee and it asks us to enter in the lateral values here so we entered in those on the on the uh, RoboTotal app. We can continue. Then in our uh, ligament balancing we've already captured some poses here. Um, but those poses will enter here, right in from the medial screen, as you're seeing. 20, degree, 20 millimeters, 22 millimeters, 17 and 19 goes in. We hit the continue button, and then RoboTotal calculates the best possible implantation for this specific knee. So first off, we'll start with the knee in extension. Next phase, instructions go down to drop the tibia to 18 millimeters in the medial compartment. Next phase is to rotate the tibia. The rotation point for the tibia should be at the distal aspect in the center point of the medial femoral condyle. We rotate to uh, 19 degrees or 19 millimeters in the lateral compartment. Then the next instruction is uh, 18 millimeters. To get to 18 millimeters, the lateral compartment rotating in a clockwise fashion. We'll then flex the knee. We'll translate to uh, 18 millimeters in the medial compartment. And again, we want to anchor at that distal aspect, or I'm sorry, in this, in this instance, the posterior aspect of the uh, medial femoral condyle, and we rotate uh, clockwise one degree, and it gets 18 all the way through. This verifies that we'll have a nine millimeter tibial insert in this particular case. Uh, our final values are seen here. Now, RoboTotal is in beta phase, so it occasionally uh, will have a single uh, millimeter error in one of the boxes. This is to do mostly with the rounding effect of the uh, uh, Mako Total knee uh, software. Um, further version, the full version of RoboTotal uh, takes advantage of this by offering real-time real -time adjustments. The last and most important phase of this is now that we have this perfect, we have made some changes to the uh, um, implant position. So we'll go back to the implant planning stage and again go to that medial compartment, click on the medial peg, and go transition to the trochlea. And again, that trochlear fit is not terribly unaffected, but we would adjust this as necessary.